We need the Holy Spirit for inner strength. So inner change, inner strength. So you see these guys come out and they, they receive the Holy Spirit and we see what they do. They start sharing the gospel. They start just, they have this strength that's happening and we don't know why other than what we read here. So we need the Holy Spirit for inner strength. And I want you to think with me, have you read the account or have you heard about what happened at Jesus' baptism? Jesus' baptism, Jesus comes and his cousin John the baptizer dunks him in water, lifts him up, and it says the heavens opened. The Holy Spirit descended on him like a dove. And God the Father speaks from heaven and says, this famous, famous words, You are my beloved son, and with you I am well pleased. God the Father, the creator of heavens and earth, the sovereign Lord over everything, says to Jesus, you are my beloved son, with you I am well pleased. Have you ever thought about that and said, man, wouldn't that be awesome? (laughs) If the heavens open up, light shines down on you for all to see, and they say, Jake, you are my beloved son, with whom I am well pleased. Right? It's like that, that's security, that's strength. That's, if God the Father is pleased with me, if he loves me, what am I afraid of? Why do I ever get down? Why do I ever get depressed? Why am I so worried about money? Why am I so worried about someone who talked bad towards me or someone who's slandering my name? This is true for everyone who is in Christ. That God the Father looks at you and he sees what Jesus has done for you. And you're adopted into his family and he says, you are my beloved son with whom I am well pleased. This is true for us. What happened at Jesus' baptism is like, man, that'd be sweet. And it's true. A couple scriptures, really short scriptures that I wanna, want you to know you can trust me, right? Let's go to the next one, Chase. Galatians 4, 6 says this, God has sent the spirit of his son into our hearts, crying, Abba, Father. Now, Abba is this word that we don't use today, right? It's a different language. But it, it meant, it was a very personal term. It could be translated, people say, Daddy. So the very idea is not that we're just like a little idiot kid. It's like, daddy! But the idea is that we have this personal relationship. And then God sends the spirit of his son into our hearts. And it's the Holy Spirit who works in us to give us the inner strength and to help us know constantly that God is our father. That he's pleased with us. That's, That's what it means. So we have inner strength like Jesus could have. Jesus lived out of his identity, empowered by the Holy Spirit, knowing that he has a loving relationship with the Father. And so can you. God is our Father. If you are in Christ, if you've turned from your sin and cast yourself totally dependent on Jesus and what he's done for you, you've been adopted into the family of God. And the Holy Spirit has come in and he's going to keep reminding you that you're one of God's children. And God's a good dad. He doesn't threaten to throw kids out of the family. He's adopted us. He's our parent. He's not our foster parent. Romans 5, 5 says, God's love has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who has been given to us. Have you ever had these moments of just kind of been overwhelmed by the fact that the creator of the heavens and the earth, despite your sin, despite who you really are, has chosen to love you and accept you? Is that ever just, it floors me all the time. It's like, I find myself saying all the time, are you sure? It's because the Holy Spirit has been poured into our hearts. God's love is poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who has been given to us. So, Jesus accomplished our acceptance and adoption into God's family and he sends the Holy Spirit to make it a constant reality. You get that? The Holy Spirit, we need the Spirit because we need inner strength and knowing God is our Father and he loves us, accepts us, forgives us, loves us. The Holy Spirit comes to constantly make that a reality and not just something we hear or we understand with our mind but that we would grab it with our hearts. So if you, if you want strength, this is strength the world knows nothing of. This is strength that you don't find anywhere but through the Holy Spirit pouring the love of God into your hearts.